Hello everyone, I'm back and this time I'm going to make my second geode um, and this time I'm using a canvas of 40 by 50 centimeters and uh, I already placed some crushed glass light blue on the canvas and um, I put some clear over it. Now I'm uh, placing some silver and light blue rhinestones over it so that it can be sparkly. I speeded also this video a little bit because otherwise it's going to be a very long video. Now I'm uh, putting the, the stones with the brush back to the crust glass. And also this geode is a little bit inspired by Erika Bauer of Artists Till Death. She also make, makes beautiful uh, geodes. And I wanted to give it a try also. So now some clear again over the rhinestones. Now I'm using the resi metal aluminium and I'm placing it, it against the crust glass. And in this video you are going to see part 1 and 2 and um, after that I'm going to make a new video because in, the, uh, in between the layers you, I need to wait 24 hours. So and otherwise it's going to be a very long video so it's going to be uh, several videos for this uh, geode. Now I'm placing uh, the angel white of Lores, and I don't know if you can see it but I already uh, uh, made my design on the canvas with a pencil so that I know where I want, uh, where I need to place the colors or where I want them. So with a steering stick I uh, push the resin uh, where I want to have it. And I'm using for this uh, Geo the Mastercast uh, one to one. It's a little bit thicker than the other resins and I uh, normally I put 10% uh, in the resin to color it but this time I, I put a little bit more because then it gets even more uh, thicker and it doesn't spread uh, that much to the sides. So a little bit more clear on the crust glass. And now I'm making a line of a uh, silver leaf. I already mixed it in the resin and I put a lot in it so that it gets a little bit thicker. And with a steering stick uh, I place the line on, on the canvas. And I prepped my canvas with uh, two layers of uh, gesso and two layers of white acrylic uh, paint. And I also taped the side because I um, mask and tape. So I want to have the design uh, to stay on the canvas and not flow over the sides.
Now I'm using the turquoise blue, also from Lores, a very beautiful color. This geode is going to be uh, uh, in uh, several uh, blue tints, and this is the turquoise blue. Again, I push it with my uh, steering stick where I want to have it. So you can see uh, uh, in the silver leaf, the, the line is staying very small. It doesn't flow that much to the sides. I like that. Now I'm placing some, um, I don't know how you say it in English, but I think it's Amazonite Crystal Gravel. Um, that are stones in a turquoise color. Very nice. And I place it on the edge of the uh, Lores uh, Turquoise Blue. These stones uh, give a nice uh, structure and also the crushed glass and the, and the silver leaf. I like that. It's not that flat anymore. It, it has a structure. Now I'm adding some uh, crushed glass in the gaps to fill it up. And now I'm adding some mixed glitter um, in the on the crushed glass to give it more uh, of a contrast and some clear on top of it. So this is the first part and um, after this the second part. So you can see I already have some uh, dark blue areas, that's the Lumiere Pearl Essence Blue and uh, also a dark blue glitter line and I placed a, a resin metal aluminium line against the, the silver leaf. I lost uh, part of my first video, so yeah, but it doesn't matter. Now I'm placing a glitter line against the silver leaf. I uh, mixed a lot of gl glitter in the resin so that it gets very thick.
I saw that there was some glitter uh, that wasn't uh, uh, in the clear, so I add more clear. And now I'm uh, going to place clear over the whole uh, dark blue area. And you can see that the white and the dark blue uh, are blended in, in each other. I like that. It gives that wavy effect. It has no straight line anymore. It looks more uh, natural. So I'm filling in the whole dark blue area with clear resin. So the last bit of clear goes on the canvas, over the dark blue, very nice color, very sparkly. Now I'm placing a white line against the blue glitter line in the dark blue. And this is the angel white of Lores. I do this because I want to create also that wavy effect in the dark blue because otherwise it's it has no depth. So I'm placing that line and I'm blowing to, through a straw to create that effect. And now I'm adding some primary elements, Summer Breeze, that's a nice uh, turquoise green color, very sparkly, and I'm placing it in between the white. And also uh, blowing it with a straw over the uh, blue and in the clear and also you create some depth uh, with this technique
now a line of uh, primary elements summer breeze nice color and I'm placing some uh, glass blue glass stones over the uh, primary elements and I'm placing them with a stick with a steering stick on the resin I'm putting more uh, summer breeze against the stones. Adding some more glitter, silver glitter. And some clear again. And now I'm filling, filling the gap between the um, silver glitter line and the turquoise green with Angel White of Lures. I'm pushing the white against the blue glass stones and I don't mind if they uh, if they blend in together the blue and the, and the white because I like that
So I'm putting the last uh, silver glitter on. And now I'm adding some uh, extra fine turquoise glitter over the stone to get it even more sparkly. So this was uh, part two. Um, now I have to let it dry for 24 hours and uh, after that I can put uh, another layer on it. So I need to think what I uh, uh, do with the corners, which color I'm going to use dark or light i don't know yet but uh, if you like my videos please sus subscribe to my channel um, if you have questions or tips uh, place a comment under the video and i will see you next time bye